friend of the show, Bryce Vine, he recently was on Rapper Musician talking about his new single, Thug, as well as the music video. Well, it's dropped. Take a look. So let him ignore me. Never believe in my story. Women don't ever adore me. Hardly in with Hollywood cool crowds. Too hyper normal and corny. Damn, could use a couple lessons in my swag. Then maybe kids won't think I'm such a fake. I just want to be a thug. Interesting music. First of all, incredible rapper. Incredible rapper. Um, but if you listen to the lyrics, you really see how he doesn't, he does in a tongue-in-cheek way, how he doesn't really fit what some people may perceive the hip hop rap culture right. to be. And I love that he, you know, said that and called it out and yeah. rapped about it. And I need for Madonna to start taking notes because the last time I was here, we were talking about her newest song, and I'm like, that's crap. This is gold. Yeah. That was actually, it's it's actually a good rap. Yeah. Like the lyrics actually make sense. I love him pointing out, you know, like Kanye rhyming nigga with nigga. Uh -huh. Like, ha! Ah, somebody Drake talks about it in too. that song. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it, it, it was a good rap. It's a good rap. It's catchy. It's funny. It, it has all the elements of a catchy song, but he's not Madonna. He's not famous. And so. he's saying not something. Famous like, that. like, I like that he's creating his own niche and he's true to himself, which right. I think is a great message. It's very, I, it's very difficult to, like, establish your voice so quickly. And, and I think that's just a great one where I get, like, the angle that he's taking with the song, I think every illustration of what he's trying to do is awesome. Not to mention, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah. It looks pretty I great. loved everything the way they shot it. And of course, a lot of people celebrating Adi Shankar, the director. But also, it's interesting that he drops this song now because right now, Thug, I'm not even comfortable saying it, has a controversial, it's become a yeah. controversial word because a lot of people have been using the word in a very malicious way. Right. For instance, with, with Trayvon Martin. Oh, he deserved to be killed because he's a... Thug. Right. And I don't like how that word has been turned into this I think it's racially even more, charged word. I think it's more, I don't think it's because he was a thug. It was like even more dangerous. Because when I hear because he was a thug, I can say like, you don't know that. You just yeah. painted it with a brush. They're like, he was dressed like a thug. Like what? That's like this weird, more the, subtle but weirdness. It, yeah, it's a way of coloring it in a, you're not blatantly be, you know, maligning their, right. their character or what they've done, but you're aligning them with something that people socially, at least on a subliminal rec level, recognize is dangerous. Yeah, a lot of people you are know? using that word. It's a euphemism now. It's, a, it's yes. interchangeable for, oh, bad person or black N person. Yeah. Or, yeah, exactly. That's, what, that's exactly what I've it is. I've seen exactly. a lot of tweets where it's used like the N-word yeah. from people that are using it in a racist way. But um, so I like that he's playing on a word that yeah. is now very controversial too. The only thing then is if people aren't smart enough to get that there's more than one level to the song. Yes, yes. Then it's like, oh, see, fuck, it's great. I can no. say that even more now. It's smart. The lyrics are smart, and I love most importantly that he's doing him, and he's a great rapper. So way to go, Bryce Vine. Yeah. We give you a round of applause. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Share your thoughts on Pop Trigger.